Um, let's talk about the controls for a moment. Um, we have we have an operating mode which has three settings: hand, semi-auto, and auto. We have a next button, a previous button, and a staple button. The the mode button. Um, uh, let me discuss that a little bit. When you're in hand mode, every phase of the drawer fastening and assembly process has to be instigated by the operator. So uh, the the stapling, the the interior clamping, exterior clamping, the stapling, and the unclamping is instigated by the operator hitting the next button. In semi-automatic. Um, the interior clamping is, is instigated, the exterior clamping is instigated, staple is instigated, but the unclamping is automatic. And in the fully automatic mode, interior clamping is instigated, exterior clamping is instigated, and after that, stapling and unclamping will be done automatically. So that's how the three different setups operate, and the reason we have have it set up this way is if you desire to uh, caulk or glue your drawer bottoms in while it's clamped in the machine and held in position, then you can use one of the semi or hand modes uh, to achieve that. If you are planning on having that process take place elsewhere, then we recommend running an automatic mode because that will be the, that will give you the quickest cycle time. Um, so what we'll do next is uh, we will um, we'll set up a drawer and demonstrate how all the pieces are held in place and how, um, how you'd go about doing the drawer assembly uh, in the drawer machine. So the first step is we would go on the fixed side and we would take the drawer side and put it up against the front stop and against the side. And we would take the drawer front and put it into the corner and hit the next button. And what that did is it just clamped the interior clamps so that these two pieces are now held rigidly in the machine. There's no rattling, it's just held in. Then we drop in the next drawer side and put it up against the front. And you notice that this piece is loose but we adjusted the side clamp so that it just, you, you have enough room to drop it in easily, but not fall over. Then that allows us to take the drawer bottom and slide it in the groove. You notice the center supports are supporting the, the drawer bottom and allows us to, to get it into the grooves easier so that the drawer bottom can be assembled. Then the drawer back is put in, in between the drawer sides. And everything's all assembled but loose. Only the front and the side are held rigidly. The other pieces are held loosely. And I'm in hand mode, so now I can instigate the next. And so what we've done there is we've clamped uh, the outside toward the front. We clamped the side to lock all the pieces in position. Now to instigate the stapling in hand mode, I can either use the staple button or I can use next. Either one does the same thing. And now I can hit the next button to unclamp the drawer. And at this point, like I said, you can caulk or hot melt the uh, drawer bottom in if you wish, or just simply take the box out and set it offline to go into the next process. 